Hi, welcome to Module 2. In Module 2, we're going to do a lot of multiplying with bigger numbers. And we're going to work to try to solve problems like this one over here. There are 52 fifth graders who want to go see a movie with me. If the tickets cost $8.75 for a matinee, about how much money am I going to need to bring? And we want them to be able to solve problems like these and just get a quick estimate. And we want them to be able to solve them to get an accurate answer as well. But first, let's start over here at topic A, where we're going to learn about the commutative property. The commutative property is the one that allows us to move things around in addition and multiplication and still get the same answer. Like 8 plus 4 is 12, 4 plus 8 is 12, or 9 times 5 is 45, 5 times 9 is the same thing. So we're going to use it to help us solve problems in multiplication with bigger numbers, such as... Rather than thinking about 30 times 50, we're going to think about this as 3 times 10 times 5 times 10. And then we're going to use the commutative property to rearrange and take the 3 times 5 and put that together and multiply it by 10 twice. Then we can just do 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 times 100, <coughs> or times 10 twice, we'll move that number over two places to the left. Now we really want to emphasize that we're not just adding two zeros on the end, we are actually moving the, the numbers over on the place value chart, so the values are getting higher. That will lead then to more difficult problems, such as this. Now we can take the 43 times 8 out of that, and we see that we're multiplying by 10 three times. 10 times 10 times 10. And of course, we're going to try to teach kids, as mathematicians, we would write that this way, in exponent form. Then it's a simple matter of figuring out what 43 times 8 is, which is something they already know how to do. And then taking that product and multiplying it by 10 three times. Following that, we'll be teaching kids how to estimate uh, using these bigger numbers. So we might take a problem, excuse me, such as 456 times 73. And using our estimation skills, we can look at the largest digit, the hundreds place here, and we see that we can round that to 500, because this is greater than the 5 or greater. And we would look at the tens digit here, because it's the largest digit in this number. And the 3 tells us to leave that alone. And now we've got a problem like we just solved before. <clears throat> 5 times 7 is 35. Multiply by 10 three times, and we get an estimate of 35,000. And kids are going to practice that a lot to get used to being able to estimate large uh, multiplication problems easily. Finally, we're going to go to these problems here. And we're going to solve these problems then. We're going to read these problems and say, oh, okay, well, I've got to figure out about how much I, money I want. I'm going to listen to that word about. It's telling me all I really need is an estimate. And I'm going to take that problem and say 52 times $8.75. And I'm going to estimate this to be, well, that's about 50. And I'm going to multiply by $9. Because I want to be safe. I want to make sure I've got enough money. And 5 times 9 is 45. And I'm multiplying by 10 once. So I need to bring about $450. And that would be topic A.